What's up, YouTube? Thanks for tuning in to another video. Hope everybody's doing well. Man, it's getting cold in Canada. It's almost November already. Winter's coming. Again, if you're new to the channel, you like trucks, TRDs, vehicles, feel free to hit that subscribe button down below. I'd love to hit 500 subscribers by the end of the year. I think we're at 251 last time I checked. Anyways, we have an exciting video today. Today I'll be doing a product review of One Car Stereo's AI Smart Box. For context, One Car Stereo watched one of my videos where I was complaining that Tacoma does not have wireless CarPlay. Um, it's kind of annoying to have to plug in your phone every time just to use the Apple CarPlay. So they were kind enough to send me their Smart AI Box to review and I've been testing it out over the past couple weeks and today I'm gonna be giving you my thoughts on it. This video is not sponsored by One Car Stereo for their Smart AI Box, but they did send me this AI Box at no charge. I was given full autonomy to say whatever I would like about this AI Box. If you're interested in picking one of these up after the video, feel free to use the link below in my description. This is an affiliate link, so I do get a small commission each time someone purchases from that link. Um, so if you're looking at it, really appreciate if you would use the link as it does help me out a lot and help the channel grow. With that being said, because my subscribers are so awesome, I am actually going to be giving this specific AI box I was sent away to one lucky subscriber. So feel free to stay tuned to the end of the video if you are interested in winning this giveaway for details. All right, so I figured it would be good just to unbox this so you can see what's inside and the packaging quality. Um, so it comes in a pretty small box. There's an instructions and an outline of what's included on the back side compatibility so I'll open this up take the top off here's the actual AI box well packaged in a foam encasement we'll take a look here it is super lightweight has a fan USB external storage here's the rest of the box take the foam out so what comes on in here is the USB to connect to your wireless CarPlay in your vehicle. Another USB and an instruction manual. And that's about it. So feel free to read the instruction manual for how to connect. But I will be going over some tips and tricks for connection and how you can do that to get the most out of this AI box. Um, so that's the unboxing. Here's the AI box itself. Tiny, lightweight, has a fan. So here's the smart AI box itself. It is extremely lightweight. One thing that I really like is they do have a fan on the back so that this thing doesn't overheat if you're going on a longer drive. Um, there's a USB input. And as well, there is also uh, an external storage input if you want to store music you know, videos or movies on for long road trips. It's fairly straightforward. You're just going to plug in the USB into the end, and then you're just going to plug it into your wired CarPlay USB. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Very straightforward. One thing that I would recommend for the smart box is if you can get some Velcro, you can just stick it right up here so it's out of the way. I will note that this right here for myself is a wireless charging station. Um, so, you know, I might want to be charging my phone because I don't have to plug it in to use CarPlay anymore. So this is either going to, because of the length of the USB, have to stay here in your wireless station or here in your cup holder. Um, so what I would recommend is get some, uh, get some Velcro or something, put it on, and then stick it up to the top there. All right, so now that we're plugged in, what I'm actually going to do is do a startup to see how long this AI box takes to connect. All right, so I'm going to be putting my truck into accessory mode in three, two, one. Now what you'll notice on the AI box is the lights will come on when you turn your truck on to accessory mode or just turn your engine on. This signifies that the AI box is connected. And we'll just take a look at the timer to see how long this is gonna take to connect. Uh, 
as we can see, it's starting to connect. And there it is. Now we're connected to our smart AI box. Relatively quick, certainly not too long of a wait. Yeah, so just going over the, the front end UI of the AI box here, you have a lot of awesome apps here. So you have a Play Store to download additional applications. This speed play is essentially what we're using as CarPlay. And then, which is pretty awesome, you have Netflix, you have YouTube. So if you're on road trips and you have a family and they wanna watch videos, definitely check those apps out. Um, so as far as recommendations go, first few things I do when I start is I would get this connected to Bluetooth on my iPhone or Android. To do that, you're just gonna click settings and you're gonna wanna go to Bluetooth here. You're gonna wanna power on your Bluetooth and connect Bluetooth on your phone. So you can go into your settings, turn Bluetooth on and connect to the AI box when it becomes visible. What I do when I use it is I actually have auto connect turned on and this takes me right into the AI box and the Apple CarPlay automatically when I turn my truck on as opposed to having to do this manually. Um, so I never even need to take my phone out of my pocket when I come in and use this. It just automatically starts up, connects to my AI box, connects to my Bluetooth, and I'm using wireless CarPlay. Next up, in order to use applications like Netflix and YouTube, you're going to want to tether your data. Um, so what you can do is actually turn the Wi-Fi on on your specific AI device here. So you're going to make sure Wi-Fi is powered on. What you're then going to do is you're going to go into your settings, you're going to turn your hotspot on, and you're just going to input the password for your hotspot that you're seeing on your phone into the screen on the AI box. When you go into Wi-Fi, you'll be able to see your iPhone as an option. You're going to click it, and then from there, you're just going to add in this password. Super straightforward. So once you've done that, you'll be able to jump in and go into CarPlay as well as use the application. So to start, I'll click SpeedPlay. Once I've done that, this is going to take me right into a view, which is essentially the exact same as my wireless, uh, as my wired CarPlay. So I have my Spotify up here. The functionality is the exact same. The speed is the exact same on your infotainment system. So I really have not experienced any lag. I've been really happy about that. Of course, you have your maps here as well. And then you have your phone. So it's very similar to what you'd experience when you plug your phone into the wired CarPlay, um, except this is going to be wireless. So that's an example of the CarPlay aspect, but you also might be interested in the specific applications. Um, so what you can do is you can tap anywhere on the screen, and what's gonna happen is there's going to be a little module that pops up in the middle here. So you can just click the module and it's going to bring you some specific options. You can go home, you can go back, you can see other applications that you currently might have open. So what I'll do is I'll go home. This is bringing me right back home. And because I've connected to Wi-Fi and I've essentially tethered my data, I can just come in here and click one of the applications. So I'll go on to, Net, uh, I'll go on to YouTube right now, sorry. Here's my YouTube. I've already actually signed into my account. So what I'll do is I will click the specific account. I will go do a shameless plug of my YouTube channel. <laughs> so here's my YouTube channel. If you're curious about watching videos about Toyota Tacomas, you can feel free to browse the channel, subscribe if you'd like, and check out any of the videos that I have on my channel. Um, so maybe I'll just go in and I'll click one of my videos here. And there's me showing my video. If you want to check out Netflix, it's the exact same. Simply click the Netflix icon. It's gonna pull up Netflix for you. And from there, I'm in Netflix and I can watch movies or TV shows on long road trips. Pretty cool, not gonna lie. As mentioned at the beginning of the video, if you want to participate in the giveaway and win this AI box, all you have to do is be subscribed to the channel and leave a comment on this video. Once I hit 500 subscribers on my channel, I will be picking somebody who is subscribed and has left a comment on this video, and I will send you this AI box at no cost. Anyways, thanks for tuning in, everyone, and until next time, have a great day.